Okay, so I had to record this again because I really could not wait to summon for Melt yesterday. Um, if you saw yesterday's video, I did get her and I got Jack too on a spook. And I got MP10 Suzuka Gozen and MP2 Passion Lip. That was the result of my rolls yesterday. Seven Suzukas, one Mel, and two Lips, and then I think two Spooks, Moe Gozen, and Jack the Ripper. Um, but yeah, enough about my gotcha luck or unluck. Uh, I want to talk about these three JP buffs because they do affect, affect uh, what you summon for today because you have more value in a character when you know it's going to be buff. So Melt's uh, thing about Melt that got buffed was she got a battery, 30%, and it's on the dodge skill, so five turn cooldown, like low, nice low skill, like the one you're gonna probably spam as much as possible. This isn't the buff that would have made her like absolutely busted. The the buff that would have made her busted was just this procking first, like both the effect this effect rocking first ups her damage so much she doesn't need she barely even would need the damage scaling from an mp upgrade like that'd be 25 percent more damage do i have the list here i do alter ego no this would be her base damage this would be her base single target damage no 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 it wouldn't because she'd also be getting a 10 percent, so it'd be closer to this this would be like her base mp damage uh with only her stuff that is nuts or that would be nuts if that's actually the buff her having a 30 percent battery just means you can like open with her if you run her with like the Christmas event, CE. Um, so, yeah, I think this buff is good. Is it the best buff they could have given her? No. But is it a safe buff? Yes. Next, we got King Protea. And... This is the buff that she got. And I love this buff for the, like, sheer build crafting potential that you could do with this because you can run her with double Oberon and uh, bitch darkness and get up to for the last turn of this because like at turn 10 you get 100% MP damage if you run uh, King Protea with a black rail emerald bead max level super black rail like in addition to the 2500 attack that goes into her late stuff she will get 70 percent attack from her skill in koi and skaya 221 percent buster damage from all the buffs total and then 720 percent mp damage from oberon's third skill like multiplies all the mp damage like it takes the total MP damage you're giving and then multiplies it. That I think is fucking hilarious. Like all the memes of King Protea just going cow and then just squashing someone like her MP. Yeah, that's what you actually will be doing. You will be turning servants into fine blood mist. If you can actually, if you like, can get that going. Not so useful in the King Protea fight because by that point. King Protea, like enemy King Protea, is gonna have like 20 million health. So I don't, I don't think you're gonna be doing that much damage. But if you can actually one shot King Protea in the challenge was when she's like stacking that much HP, holy fucking shit, will that be hilarious? Um, yeah. So King Protea's buff, I really do like. Is it? I honestly think this is the best thing they could have done for her over an MP damage. Uh buff but it really does mean that this is a dead skill and that you're pretty much 
they're pretty much popping this because you need because King Protea is about to die and you just want to get that little bit more damage but like this this right now seriously gimps your damage because it's not just you're losing the MP because this isn't scaling on how much you had it's how much you have this yeets them like a for this to be for this skill to be relevant it has to only remove this it has to only remove this otherwise it's a dead skill I'm honest, like I just got paid today and I got melt yesterday. I'm going to summon for, or because of when this video is coming out, I already summoned for it. I might have the that summoning like as a little extra video to the end. We'll see. Um, but I think this is a really, really cool buff and it's, it's definitely creative that like, Okay, so like the Siegfried and Melt buff and I guess Sherlock, like they are kind of boring, like they just gave them batteries, but they are what the servants did. They were buffs that they were lacking. This is just a cool buff. It's not boring. Like, yeah. Last one. The one most people have over one of these two is Lip. In hindsight, I realized that this this is probably because all the BBs have twenty percent um, have twenty percent Buster in their kit somewhere. Like I didn't realize that until like looking at it. But yeah, look here, summer BB twenty percent. Protea, a waste of time that I didn't get open. She has 20% here and 20% in the overcharge. I realize that there actually is a reason why it's 20% here. At the very least, they could have made this battery 30%. I don't know why they only made it 20. If you want a buster farm with clip, I'm pretty sure you have to go through such, so, you have to go through so many hoops, it's not even funny. Like, it, it seriously would not be fun trying to bust through the clip. I think you can do it because now she, you have a battery. It's just hard. The buster buff it did fix her damage. It was lacking, and now it's like normal. Um. I think it's because of these two effects that they couldn't push out a little more for this, which like, why does it need to be like, I get that this is to prevent you from getting stunned from here, but I don't know. I think it's, it's something passion lip definitely got something. But if they fucking come out with a summer passion lip and she's better than this passion lip, that's fucking stupid. And they should be ashamed. They should, like, Lasagna should honestly be ashamed if summer passion lip is actually this year. I don't think it is. I think we're more likely to get a summer habitroth that's an actual adult instead of, like, a little tiny gnome. I think that's way more likely. Um, but, yeah. That's my thoughts on these buffs. Sorry, it's coming out so late. Um, yeah, I will see you uh, later. Maybe after uh, work today, because today's my last day um, before summer months. And oh, yeah, summer months. All of uh, all of July, I'm pretty much working uh, nine to twelve, and like there's gonna be like half hours like before and after. But my my hours are definitely like shorter, and I'm gonna be getting paid more, uh. So I'm gonna be ready for anniversary. 
and we'll make it a good year. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.